this video, I'm going to be playing Modern Warfare 2.0, and I'm going to be showing you the fastest way to level up your guns. So I'm just going to get straight to it, so you don't have to wait. So the first thing you're going to do is make whatever class you're going to do, and then make one that you're going to do if you level up that gun halfway through the game. And then in the cluster you're using, you want to make sure you have for your tactical a decoy grenade and for your lethal a proximity one. For your perk package, make a custom one and have overkill, extra tactical, resupply, and overclock. You don't have to have overkill, you could have whatever you want, but make sure you have extra ta extra tactical, resupply, and overclock. And then for your field upgrades, you want to make sure you have DDoS and multition box. Then you want to go to kill streaks, change it to score streaks. Let's see, score streaks. Let it focus. Okay, it won't focus. Uh, yeah, you just want to change it to score streaks like this. And for your score streaks or kill streaks, you want to make it UAV. Sentry turret and advanced UAV. Then, what you want to do is go to play, click filter, and make sure it's domination um, and wait, domination and kill confirmed. Then, you want to get into a game really fast. When I'm in the game, I'll start the game. Okay, once you're in the game, uh, if you're playing Domination, you really want to play the, like, what is it? Um, the points where they the enemies are going to try to capture. You want to play, you want to mainly be on the enemy's uh, side where their things are. You can capture it. That will, that will give you 200 capture XP for your account level and your gun. And since I'm using shotguns, I'm going to be running around. Like, kind of like him. He's using RPG. So, I already know that guy's going for alpha. I'm going to get my XP 12. I, ha I don't have any of these guns leveled up, so they're not going to do... A lot of damage, like you would think they would do. And since I have resupply, I'm gonna get my proximity mines fast and my decoy grenades. And you're probably wondering what will the decoy grenades do when you throw them on the things that your teammates need to capture. Pa what am I saying? Capture. And your team, when your teammates get kills around your decoy grenades, that gives you 10 XP. If you throw two decoy grenades next to each other, that's uh, 20 XP. Counted towards your gun, your level, and more. Yeah, I don't want to be over there. Okay. I'm gonna go up here because I thought I just heard someone. I'm gonna throw that there and run down. Okay. You wanna play the points that everyone's capturing. Not your own, but the enemies. Because the enemies is where they spawn. They spawn at the ones that are captured. So, Charlie, that's their spawn now. You wanna go to that. Those decoy grenades, you want to chuck them when you spawn. Like right there, I got it on Bravo, so when my teammates get kills, or decoy get distract, you get XP. I'll put that air. Right there. And if you get point blanks, that's 210. Just like that, or 220 like there. Thank you. 
I just got 800, well, 1,000 XP if you round it up, just from that. And I leveled up my gun. can't see because the camera is white here so it's really hard yeah i would switch to my other gun that's way better than this but i can't right now okay i just switched to my ebr14 and now we can just destroy people you want to place them at doorsteps, your proximity mines. Decoys, throw them on the objectives. And I'm using a sniper right now. I'm using the sniper in the EBR. I'm using the one that you get from the battle pass. I don't really like this scope that much, though. It's not. It, it's annoying sometimes because, obviously that I'm not gonna get it all the way like listen to how quiet it is but it's a one-shot sniper it's the best part about it How do you get past my mines? I don't know that. I'm I don't know why I'm running with the EBR, but I am. Got that no scope, quick scope right there. The decoy grenade right there. Because now when they spawn, every time they spawn, like decoy distraction, every time they spawn, I will get XP from it. Probably shouldn't be using a gun that I haven't leveled up right now. Ooh, we got that kill right there. And then every time you get flashed, just lay down. Y'all probably died, but it's a better way of not dying every single time. Like one shot sniper, except for the toes or legs. Like, the EBR is still, like, a sniper, kind of. It's not my favorite gun, though. When I reload, I just go down. UAV, you don't want to pop it right away, even though it will give you XP. You want to go on an objective and pop it. That would give you XP. Put some stuff here. I got Aga. And you could also stay on the objectives. But you'll probably die most of the time. But it gives you uh, like 110 more XP. It's worth doing sometimes. And yeah. That's the video. And I. Let's see how much I leveled up my gun. 
I've done two guns this match, so I think I leveled up my expert 12 three times and my other gun like four times. My EBR, I don't know, I mean, no. But I got 16 kills. Uh, next video tomorrow, I'm gonna try to figure out how to do a setup with my camera. And I'm gonna be using better guns, so the gameplay's not really bad. So, my sniper, I did not level it up because I didn't get three. I got my Lockwood, one level up. EBR, almost a level up. It's because, like, how do you see if, like, your thing is right here? Yeah. So, yeah. Go try this out. It's still working. Next video is going to be a glitch. It's still not, it's not patched, I'm surprised. And it's in, uh, you could, I think you could do it in Invasion, but that's for next video. Uh, that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe. We out. Peace.